Hey everybody, this is Rippin. Hey, I'm Ramblin. Okay, today we have some Chronicles blasters because it's football season and we want to rip the crap out of football. Well, it's almost football season. Well, preseason started, so it's official. Oh, it's official? Gotcha. That's cool. Chronicles is one of my favorite products. Why? Because it gives you just the top rookies. You don't get a lot of the Joe Schmoes that nobody's ever heard of. And oh, okay. Get to see some cool ones. And they have the Prism Blacks, which I think are pretty, 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 pretty cards. And then these we can get the Blaster Exclusive Prestige Rookies. Pink Parallels. And then there's the new Flux and Magnitude. I hope the and flux then, aren't as ugly as the basketball ones because I really don't No, like they them. are. Oh, yeah, great. You can pull autos and silvers. There's also numbered cards you can pull out of here, which is nice because I think in Prism you really couldn't pull any numbered cards. But and We haven't gotten any optic yet, so hopefully optic will be coming if we can find some in the wild. So which one do you want to do first? Do you want to do left or right? Mm, left. Left. Left's got the damage on the box, too. Yeah. That must be the lucky one, huh? All right, we'll throw this one on the back. Open this one up. So, last video we talked about some scam news. What are we going to talk about this time? Um, I mean, the only real thing to talk about news-wise is, like, backyard breaks, and, but... Yeah. I mean, they're trying to clean their act up. They're still a little over the top for me, but... This one feels heavy. We're going to at least do that one last. Okay. So... Who's... Oh, yeah. i got to throw these packs away. All right. So that's the base design for Chronicles. What's Just... the back look like? Just the base. It's all about the base. Not really. Nobody wants base. That's the regular one. And then Cortland Sutton. Michael Carter, rookie. And our prestige parallel is Nico Collins. And then, ooh, look at this. Jamar Chase, clear vision. Those are sweet looking cards. And the back, as you can tell, is just clear and then Ramondre and our pink parallel is Javante out of for the Panini so nothing crazy in the first pack I don't know who's everybody's predictions to oh yeah for fantasy for fantasy yeah who's your top fantasy quarterback quarterback yeah top quarterback fantasy quarterback don't matter. but they do yeah. I think it's more about the uh, with this draft class and everything, it's more about the wide receivers. Well, in this draft class, I'm just talking about overall for fantasy. Like, who... Who's going to be the biggest sleeper? Who's going to be the... Right. Oh, look, it's a Jamar Chase hot box. Got the prestige. Oh, we got a Mac Jones playoff. Momentum acetate card. I do like these with the background when they put the... Oh, yeah, how they have that blur kind of thing no the actual logo for the team in the uh, background i, I like, like the those blur thing. i wish they would put the logo a little bit bigger we got aaron Rodgers pink and another pink at terrace marshall jr so rookies 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 for the most part you get a lot of rookies in here who's who do you think is going to be the biggest rookie sleeper the biggest rookie sleeper Oh, we got Justin Fields. Base, Chronicles. The biggest rookie sleeper? I don't know. With this new draft class? I have no idea. Oh, there's a Mac Jones Dynagon. That's pretty cool. What about... Uh, oh, look at this Trey Lance. <laughs> nice. What about maybe uh, um, your boy from Michigan? Aiden? Yeah, but he's... He's not like a... I know, he's he's a lineman, but... Right, but, I mean, I'm, but that's what I mean. I mean, you'd have to... If you're going to do... If we're talking fantasy, you can't say offensive lineman. 
No, but what do you think about him? How do you think he's gonna do? I mean, he's one of the one of the top ones. Right. Drafted. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to tell with them how they're gonna do, but for like Wookie, Wookie, <laughs> for Wookie wide receivers, there's Trey Lance. There's another one. I'm I'm gonna go with Olave. Just because I like Olave as far as what team he's on and and what upside potential he has. There's a gridiron king. It's got like a little canvas type. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, I feel bad for Kyle Pitts because it doesn't look like that team's going to be very productive. No. I don't think so either, but we could be pleasantly surprised. What I think but is, why are, is what I think is going to be a surprise is um, Indy. There's a lot, a lot of talent, and Matt Ryan has potential, but he hasn't shown it in a couple of years. Right. So I, I can't get on board. Oh, this is the uh, Legacy re-release. Because if you've ever, if you've opened Legacy, like when Legacy first comes out, it's all, all your rookies are in college uniform, and then for Chronicles, they redo the the cards. And make them in their regular NFL unis. Here's a Justin Fields. These are magnitude, if you can see it right there. It's hard to see. There's a Jalen Waddle Gridiron Kings and a Damian Harris Pink. I think Fields is actually going to surprise some people. I mean, with Darnell Mooney. He's got a solid target. Yeah. He's a big receiver, so as long as they can keep him from taking off on his feet. Right. Got Corey Davis, Aaron Donald, Matt Ryan. Yeah, we were just talking about you. There's T-Law. And then we got a Ramondre for the playoff momentum. Kenny Nuangu. And Kareem Hunt. So that pack felt heavy, but it was not. Wait, how many cards are we supposed to get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven cards per pack. Hm. Just felt a little heavier than normal. So, first box. It was okay. We got some cool ones. We'll go over those at the end, too. Let's get into box number two. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I'm ready for football season, if you can tell these. Got my powder blue. Yeah, we've been watching a lot of fantasy podcasts and stuff like that. Right. I mean, you can only take that information with a grain of salt, too, because I feel like it's just like with the sports cards. You know, you have, you have your big heavy hitters in sports cards, like the Pac-Man and Backyard Breaks and all them that that rip a lot of high dollar stuff and they rip a lot of stuff right and so they get some of the cooler stuff and then you've got the same thing with with fantasy i think some of those guys are their opinions aren't necessarily factual they're more opinionated right as to who they're saying yeah you know like i i'm a i'm a washington fan and i'm not a carson wentz fan so I don't think McLaurin, I don't think Dotson and all of them are going to have a good year. That great of a year fantasy-wise, but I think the running back situation, well, that was a cool bottle. It's the pink grid Iron King. I think he has a lot of upside. I, mean, I do, My too. Miami, I think, is, is going to do really well. I'm high on Tua. Wide receivers and quarterback and running backs, they're, I think they're all going to just destroy it. Where's my prism black? I like to get one so I could show the viewers at home or on the road, wherever they may be. But don't, don't, don't drive and watch YouTube. No, don't drive. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, you can drive and listen to it, just don't watch it. Two pink ones. Uh, we, uh, we have a very different league than most. I would say, though, we do a draft-style league, mm -hmm. and we also have 
keepers and we do an auction so you have to be careful of how you spend your money right so the salary cap and stuff like that I think it makes it more interesting. It makes it more tactical. Right. It's a little bit more strategy involved doing it that way. Yeah, the, the serpentines, no offense to anybody who does the serpentines, but I think those are beginner level compared to what we do. Because you can't just change up your whole team and redraft every week like you can in some of the serpentines. Right. Especially the, uh, Getting a lot of like the ESPNs. Duplicates in here. Yeah, that's the second Mac Jones momentum. Yeah, I mean, that's and not... It's Mar Chase. I know. I mean, it's not as bad as that, uh, that Illumination stuff. Not Illumination. What was it? Wild Card. Wild Card yeah. Matt. Yeah, that was horrible. Yeah, like three of the same thing. Yeah, every pack was the same. Got a Zach Wilson. It's the first Zach Wilson we pulled. Yeah, I'm surprised. He got injured. Yeah, but he was only supposed to miss two to four weeks, but... That's a cool card. We pulled that? this one. Trey Lance. Oh, is it Trey? Yeah, it's the second one we pulled. Oh, there's a Zach Wilson pink. But that's it for Chronicles. Sorry we didn't pull any Prism Blacks. Those are my favorites. But we'll go over some of the bigger hits, I would say. So we got Trey Lance, Mac Jones, two Jamar Chases. Because we liked him so much. We got him twice. Ramondre. Justin Fields. ETN. Javante. Another Trey. A Mac. Another Mac. Jamar. And Zach. Let us know which card you thought was the best pull. Of the break. Or of the break. We didn't do a break. Of the opening. No numbered ones, I don't believe. No, I didn't see anything numbered. But, um, yeah, so like, sub subscribe, um, comment, it helps with the, the algorithm for YouTube to get us out there more. Yeah, definitely. That way we can keep putting out these cool videos for you guys. Tell us what you like, don't like, you know, whatever. All right, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.